name is Casey Patterson. I'm from Camarillo, California, and I play on the AVP. Volleyball is a very special sport for me. It has a lot more to do with just what I'm currently doing and playing on the AVP, but also how I started my family and a little bit of the legacy that I'm leaving behind with my kids. Uh, I met my wife, Lexi, at BYU um, in college. The first class I ever had was called FSN 100. It's a nutrition class. And I came in, had transferred from UVSC, and sat in class in the far corner. The professor asked us to put a group together, and Lexi had saw me walk in, and she had heard that there was a new kid on the men's volleyball team. So she just took a wild guess, walked over and said, hey, are you on the volleyball team? I said, yeah, I just transferred over. She's like, do you want to be in our group? I said, uh, excuse me, yeah, what was my name? You know, <laughs> and she walked up, 6'1", beautiful. It was, you know, one of those moments where she walked over in slow motion and I was getting more and more nervous as she got closer. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's happening? So she asked me to go. I'm like, of course, let's do this. I'd love to be in your group. Uh, the next two years go by, we're friends and buddies. We end up getting married our senior year of college. Our first year together as a couple, we go and play professional in Sweden. She made it onto a women's team and I was on a men's team and we lived in this rad little beach house in Falkenberg, Sweden, along the coast. It was like a beach town. Coincidentally, it's where they have like a big beach volleyball tournament, but I wasn't playing beach back then. But we lived in this rad little house and we got to live like our first year of marriage in this cool little house on the beach, playing professional, traveling all over, and on the weekends taking trains up to like you know, the northern end of uh, Sweden or across the ferry to Denmark. We go back home after that year of playing in Sweden and I'm just kind of working construction with my dad trying to figure out what I want to do and I've, you know, I've always had a massive passion for beach volleyball and during college I'd always played on the AVPs randomly when I could in the summer. And uh, I told Lexi, I said, hey, I really want to do this for a living, like full time. And she's like, all right, um, I'm going to give you a three year window. If you can make it into the main draw and be like a main draw player, you can do this. And this can be kind of our path and I'll support you and help you get there. So for three years, she worked full time. Luckily, the first year we moved to Huntington and I won my first tournament ever with Ty Loomis in 2009 right after we had our first son cash, a week after. So I made it in the three-year window, and it, from there on, it was full-time beach volleyball and following the dream and trying to be one of those guys like I used to watch in high school, all the pros and Karch Kreis, the Ken Steffes, the Sinjins on TV with all my VHSs recorded, set aside, ready to watch when I needed inspiration. I finally got to be one of those guys, and. Um, you know, it was such a cool thing to have my wife, Lexi, be from meeting her and her playing volleyball and us playing together and then her kind of giving me that boost and support and also challenging me and giving me like a structured window of time like, hey, this is your shot. You got three years. You better go do everything you can to make it happen. And uh, luckily I was obsessed and put a little chip on my shoulder that I needed to prove it to myself and to everyone else that I could do it and made it happen. And ever since then, it's just been you know, another child every year and more motivation. <laughs> hey, Baby Ray, who's coming out on the court? My dad, Casey Patterson. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, having four kids in a family, it's such a rad thing to be able to have this be what I do for a living and have my children at events and on the edge of stadium court if you're in a final or you're playing in a big match. and. It's such a cool thing because even to this day, they still talk about that. Dad, remember when you used to be famous? And I went, oh yeah, hey guys, it was just 2020. Geez, we've only had one year off. We can still go to these tournaments, but that's like their favorite memories is going and watching these tournaments and being on stadium court and watching like guys like Jake and Phil and they all talk about them. And, or Jeremy, the guy with the cool mustache dad or the bearded bros. Like, it's the coolest thing to have them grow up and be around the game that I love so much. So. For me, it's been kind of like this cool movie where it just the, 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 the life of volleyball for Casey, you know, it's just being able to meet someone that played and has that passion too and then raise a family around the sport has been really cool. It's been pretty awesome.